Hello there. I would like to use this video during Vlogmas to start our holiday Afghan. If you are following along and all you're going to do is do the Afghan with me, then um, you're going to need 26 ounces or 29 ounces of a white worsted weight yarn, which I, my choice is this worsted weight by Stitch Studio. It's out of print um they don't make it anymore but any of the worsted weight big pounders will work you can use white you can use any color you want really but i am also going to be using um some sparkle yarn that i got from um ac more years ago and i'm going to be using four colors instead of just two now the two colors they choose in the pattern um, is uh, green and red but I'm going to be using some other colors like this blue and this blue right um, I don't need them today so I'll just set them aside again but I'm also going to use four colors so I'm going to use the green and the red just like we are told to in the pattern only where they say to do green and red i'm gonna do um one color either the green to start or the red to start and then change back to the white um and not do two colors in the stripes i'm gonna just do one color in the stripes so you'll know what i'm talking about when we get that far now, if you don't want to just follow along, all you have to do is go and purchase the pattern because it is a paid for pattern by Catherine Ang. It is put out on ePattern Central. There's a Ravelry link to it. And it, I believe, was originally also sold elsewhere. So it'll come up. Um, let's see, where where else does it come up? I think that the pattern, uh, I, I think it gives you another place where it comes up. So let me just see what I get when I click on it. Annie's Attic is where another place where they had it. And it was um, called the Christmas Shells Afghan. The link is below. If you want to just get the pattern and do it on your own, that's fine. But the challenge is you can either do the pattern with me, which is fun. That's fun for a few people that I really like doing stuff with and for on my channel or new people. That's fine too. Or you can just get the pattern and do it yourself on any colors you want. Or you can pick your own Afghan to do. So there's a whole bunch of uh, choices here this time for the holiday make-along. So I'm going to run it from the live on Sunday, which was the, 20, uh, the 19th or the 20th, all the way through the end of December. And I'll periodically bring the pa what I'm doing on the show and give updates and uh, see how far we get. And if we can get this in over the holiday, great. If we can't, we'll finish it some other time. 
but you uh once we get to the repeats you can go ahead of me and at your own pace i'm just gonna uh do uh how to i'm doing it um to start with and once we get to the repeat then i'll then i won't i'll, I'll just do updates so i'm going to be doing four colors so the uh to other two colors besides the 29 ounces of white you need are 10 ounces of green and 10 ounces of red i'm saying it's 10 it says in the pattern nine it doesn't you know i'm gonna just say 10 for both so i'm using four colors and i'm hoping that five ounces of each color is plenty so that's my choice and um it does say an h hook and i chose to use an i hook today so i went ahead and i chained our 226 chains now if you want to break this pattern in half then you could do that and make a smaller blanket but i i am going to leave that up to you guys um it does say in the pattern that a shell stitch is used and that will be two doubles chain two two doubles so anytime we need to make a shell stitch that will be what we will be using it also says the other stitches used are slip stitch chains single crochets and double crochets they're all regular stitches it says that we also leave a six inch end at the beginning of a row and the end of a row to be worked into fringe at the end of the blanket so you're going to be going from the bottom of the blanket to the top and then you'll start a, a yarn and you will cut it at the end and leave it for fringe so it is a one-sided blanket from then on but at the very beginning it is not for the very first row it says to chain 226 which I have done already here's my chain and it, then it says to uh, single crochet in the second chain from the hook let's go back and take that one out and put it back in because it wasn't very big so one two single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then it says to chain two and skip the next chain and single crochet in the next chain so it's going to be a chain two left open for us to work in later so we're going to repeat that chain two and skip the next chain and single crochet in the next chain and they want you to do that all the way along your chain and they tell us that we will have 113 single crochets and 112 chains chain spaces so okay so if you want to just finish that row we will go on now i chose a regular non sparkle yarn for my base but i'm going to use a sparkle yarn for my colors i think that i like the theme of a christmas blanket so i think i you know i still will get that even though i'm using two colors of blue as well as the red and green i, I think i'm still going to get that theme or that vibe of a christmas blanket so i'm i'm all excited about this um i'll do a row or two you know every day and um hopefully it will be finished um sometime during december i don't know <laughs> i really don't know what will happen but we'll try it last year we did a tree skirt and it worked out well i did some ornaments and stuff on the live while i was doing the tree skirt and we added them on it was a lot of fun so i think you know this is going to be like that it's going to be some fun now my plan is to randomly pick a winner 
and um, offer up um, stitch markers that we made that are holiday stitch markers for the prizes. Not real big prizes in this. Um, unless once in a while I might throw in something. You never know. You just never know. You can have a choice of getting in the bracket game as far as a prize and or the stitch markers. You can always choose something out of the basket if your name is drawn on the live. So those are the choices that are going to be um, offered up for random draws for working a project. A blanket of your choice or this one and um, I'll meet you back at the end of this row and uh, we'll go ahead and start row the second row in just a minute okay I'm back I finished up my chain twos and then um, I did read ahead a little bit to understand why the what I was doing wasn't matching the picture and the and what I come to conclude is that we will not be cutting our yarn every row uh, we'll only be cutting it when we change colors which means that if you don't want fringe you don't have to have it um, it just helps those that do want it um, when you're when you're doing stripes so if you're doing a solid you can just continue on and we do turn our work every row as well so uh, again reading ahead helped me understand then I looked and saw that the first section of white wasn't as thick as the others and I realized that later on in the pattern it's going to tell you to come back and do a border here on your original chain <clears throat> so that again <laughs> is a nice thing to know um, it does act like there will be <clears throat> 70 you know like I said I'm gonna be keeping my colors in the middle of my white uh, uh, just one I'm not gonna be changing twice so I've got a total of 78 rows uh, in the pattern and if you bought the pattern then you already know this so uh, We've done row one and row two. We will not be cutting our yarn. We will chain one and turn our work and single crochet in the first in the okay. So now see right there. Oh, single crochet in the first stitch. I thought it said slip stitch no it didn't single crochet in the first stitch shell in the next single okay so we're going to do double crochet in the next single double crochet chain two and two more doubles that will all go in to the next single and that leaves you quite a large shell and then you will single crochet in the next single like so and you just keep doing that shell in the next single chain two two doubles so a shell again is two doubles chain two two doubles and then single in the next single <clears throat> and you'll keep going like that across the row and then if you are going to be changing colors they tell you to fasten off at the end of the row <clears throat> and they also tell you to turn your work don't keep it on the same side okay so that's what it's gonna be like 
and then the very next row we're going to change colors so i'll meet you back okay i'm back as you can see i've finished row one this is how it would look to to you if you're looking at row one and it's uh gonna be quite long i actually haven't measured it yet <laughs> I'm at the end of row one, and so that's where you will put your last single crochet in the very last single crochet. And you are going to cut your yarn now, unless you're cha not changing colors. So I'm going to leave a six inch loop, uh, or yeah, six inch uh, fringe on mine. And then after you do that, you're going to turn your work. So you're going to change colors now. And as I was reading, I was like, okay, so if you were doing this pattern, you would be doing it exactly the way they said. You would do red next. Then you would do a strip of one row of green, and then you would go back to red. So that is why they said 10 ounces of red and 9 ounces of, of the green. Because, um, or the other way around, green first. The, you, they're saying use green first. Green and then red is inside and then green um, again. So that you would actually need more green than red if you were doing that. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should change colors. Maybe I should put a strip of a different color in here. They would, all my stripes would be different then if I did it that way. Ah, now I'm thinking maybe I will. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and start with the red either way. So I'm going to leave a six inch tail and I'm going to whoops you know what i didn't put the light over here okay leave a six inch tail and put a slip knot on my hook and i'm going to start row number three and it says to join the color with a slip stitch in your first stitch and then it set see that's nice you can just leave the tail and then it says to chain three and do two doubles in the same stitch. Okay. And that's going to be beginning that row. Single crochet, sorry, single crochet in chain space of the next shell. And then shell in the next single okay so that's two doubles chain two and two doubles and then it says single crochet in the chain two space of the next shell and do that across to the last single crochet and then put three doubles in the last single crochet and that will finish that row and you will fasten off and come back and turn your work okay so i will uh continue on then doing shells chain two two doubles skip over to the chain two space and do a single and continue on i will finish this row and come back and I will also measure my work and tell you how many shells I have. Um, and I'll be 
and I will be right back. So yeah, your blanket's going to go up and down this way with some fringe on the ends. We'll add more fringe to make these a um, little bit bigger. And um, I'll meet you back. Hang on. Okay, so see I have my red row done, which is row number three. And that is beautiful. Okay, so I did do a measurement and it is looking like around 80 inches. Now, 78 to 80 inches is basically what I'm going to um, get, you know, say. And it's supposed to be 66 inches. So... <clears throat> I, I'm guessing that, again, I used an eye hook and I gained a few inches, which is fine because that's that's kind of why I what I wanted. Am I going to use more yarn? Chances are I am. So if you're using the recommended H hook, you will come into a little bit shorter on what is recommended, which is 66 inches before the fringe. So you'll end row number three with three double crochets and we're going to leave six inches and cut our, our yarn and make a slip knot and turn our work. And I've decided that I am going to do the three, the two colors in the middle of my stripe. So I've decided to do the pattern the way it is, only using four colors so ev all my stripes will be different they will not be the same so again leave six inches and row number four i'm going to start with the teal colorway and row number four says join with a single crochet in the first double crochet and then go ahead and do a shell in the next single so most of these rows will be the same pattern over and over and over again. It'll just depend if you're starting with the single or starting with your three doubles and alternating. Yeah, that looks like it's broken. See that break right there in my yarn? Yeah, there is. There is a break right there in almost all of them. Are broken so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start it there because it's too close to the edge and I can just cut the yarn and start again so I didn't I didn't break it but it happened at the see that it happened at the at the uh, factory so I'm just gonna throw that end away and start again huh interesting then we'll go down to the six inches again and start again. So what we're going to do is we're going to do row four. I'm not going to do it on camera, the whole row, of course not. But <clears throat> after you do row four, you're going to repeat row number three with the red again. So that'll close in your color. And again, single crochet in the chain two space. Okay, so then when you turn, when you end this row and turn your work, you're going to repeat row three with the red. And then when we get to um and that'll be actually row five it'll be red row five and then row six we will join the white back and we will do the row in white and we will do row six seven and eight 
I believe. Okay, it looks like. Yep, so you're going to end up doing five rows of white, I believe, in between the stripes. Yep, okay, so so you will you will do five rows of white starting with row six. So then when you start row 11, you will start with a new color again. And that is basically all of this pattern. So the next time... I show it I won't be um, doing um, any crocheting like this and telling anything about the pattern anymore um, because I'm gonna just change it all up anyway <laughs> with all my colors and um, so I'm hoping that all of you have the ideas of changing the pattern up the same way that I'm doing it um, of just picking your own colors and ch changing the stripes or using scraps or using an ombre or any of those things that you can come up with to change the pattern. How fun is that? It is a cool holiday pattern and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the fact that I'm going to be able to uh, change colors more often to make it fun and um, not not be boring at all, right? Okay, I think I have just about everything I want to talk about about the pattern today. Um, as far as what are we doing? Uh, the challenge again, you can make any afghan that you want. You can even do a tree skirt if you want to. Your own pattern, your your choice. Uh, the challenge it post is on the Facebook group. And um, we're going to run it through December, and hopefully we will have a lot of fun with it, and I'll be doing random draws from it and stuff. So um, I probably won't do one right away, but you never know. You never know um, where this goes. So again, thank you for joining me. Take a moment out of each day. Be creative, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.